we now evaluate this uh, iterated integral. So here we have the double integral of uh, integral from 0 to 2 and then the inside integral is uh, 0 to x cube under the root of 16 minus x power 4 dy dx. So here we consider the innermost integral as uh, this expression or this integral of uh, 0 to x cube under the root of 16 minus x power 4 dy and this must be integrated with respect to y and then the second integral or the outermost integral is uh, integral from 0 to 2 with respect to x. So first uh, we evaluate this uh, innermost integral. So I write down the outermost integral or the limits as it is. Uh, remember that we integrate the innermost integral with respect to y. So when we integrate this uh, expression with respect to y, this is basically a function of x. Uh, this will remain constant. So the integration of this expression will be the same expression that is uh, 16 minus uh, this one is uh, x power 4. This is uh, under the root and then multiply this with y. We then have to evaluate this expression between the limits uh, 0 to x cube. Then we have this uh, dx. So let's uh, evaluate this result. And so this equals uh, the outermost integral is uh, 0 to 2. Uh, we have to replace this y with the upper and the lower bounds. So if we replace y by x cube, we will get uh, this expression that is uh, 16 minus uh, x power 4 times uh, x cube. And then if you replace uh, 0, we will have uh, minus uh, 0. So we can just ignore that. So this is the result of the first uh, integral or the innermost integral. And this has to be you now integrated with respect to x. So we will integrate this with respect to x and then apply the limits. To integrate uh, this innermost integral, I'm going to use uh, u substitution that is uh, let uh, u equals uh, 16 minus uh, x power 4 therefore uh, du and this equals uh, the derivative of 16 is 0 and the derivative of negative x power 4 is uh, negative 4x cube using the power rule of derivative and then times uh, dx. Now we solve for uh, x cube dx so that we can replace this expression by this uh, expression in terms of u. So for that we divide both sides by 4 or negative 4. So you can write this as uh, negative du by 4 and this equals uh, x cube dx. Now we will also have to change the limits according to the substitution that we made. So when x equal to this is uh, the, the lower limit is when x equal to 0 and the upper limit is when x equal to 2. We have to determine the corresponding values of u. So for that we can substitute into the uh, substitution that we made. So when x equals 0, uh, u equals uh, 16 minus 0 power 4 this equals 16 and then when x equals 2 replace x by 2 into the substitution equation so u equals 16 minus 2 power 4 and this equals 16 minus 2 power 4 is 16 so it is 0 so therefore we can uh, rewrite this uh, integral as integral from when x equal to 0 u is 16 so I put the lower limit as uh, 16. Then when x equal to 2, u equals uh, 0. So the upper limit is 0. Now we write this as uh, x cube dx equals negative du by 4. And then this uh, replace this 16 minus x power 4 by u. So the, therefore this will become uh, root u times uh, negative du by 4. So basically we have to integrate this with respect to u and apply the limits. So now I'm going to factor this negative 1 by 4 out of the integral. So it becomes a negative 1 by 4 and this is evaluated between the limits uh, 16 to 0. Uh, we have to integrate uh, root u. So now we can apply one property of a definite integral that is uh, integral from a to b f of x dx this equals a negative of integral from b to a f of x dx that is uh, when we 
change the order of the limits, the we have to put a negative sign. So here I'm going to change the limits, that is the lower limit will become upper limit and the upper limit will become uh, lower limit. When we do so, we have to multiply this uh, original integral with a negative sign. So therefore, we can write this as uh, we will now get this uh, negative removed. So this will change to 1 by 4 and the limit will be 0 to 16 and this is uh, root u du. Let's see how to integrate this one. And so this equals uh, 1 by 4 integral from uh, 0 to 16. I write this uh, square root of u as uh, u raised to the power of a half du. You know, apply the power rule of integral to integrate uh, u power 1 by 2. And so this equals uh, u raised to the power of uh, 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by the same number 1 by 2 plus 1. We have to evaluate this between the limits of 0 to 16. Let's simplify this. And so this gives uh, 1 by 4 times uh, u raised to the power of 1 by 2 plus 1 is uh, basically 3 by 2. We divide by the same number 3 by 2. Let's evaluate this uh, between the limits 0 to 16. Now let's combine this 1 by 4 with uh, 3 by 2 in the denominator. So this is uh, 1 divided by 3 by 2. This equals uh, 1 by 4 divided by the reciprocal of uh, 3 by 2, which equals 2 by 3. So we can cancel this 4 with the 2. And so this basically equals 1 by 6. So when you combine 1 by 4 with the denominator 3 by 2, we get uh, 1 by 6. And this multiplied with uh, u power 3 by 2, we can replace this uh, u by 16 minus uh, u by 0. So therefore it becomes uh, 16 power 3 by 2 minus uh, 0 power 3 by 2, which is uh, 0. And so basically this uh, equals 1 by 16 times uh, 16 power 3 by 2. Let's uh, calculate this. This equals, uh, we can write this as 16 power 1 by 2 power 3. 16 power 1 by 2 is uh, square root of 16. And then we have to cube this. And so this equals uh, square root of uh, 16 equals 4 and uh, this is uh, 4 power 3 so this equals uh, 64 so i write down uh, 64 here we can uh, reduce this to simple terms this is uh, 32 times uh, 2 and this is uh, 3 times 2 so we can cancel this uh, and uh, this is reduced to simple fraction as 32 over 3 and so this is the result of the iterated integral which is 32 by 3 and its uh, decimal approximation is uh, 10.67. This is uh, approximately when we round this to two decimal places.